Hello, welcome back to Fallout. We're continuing to fall out. And I'm wondering if everyone can hear that buzzing as loud as I can, but... Um, I've worked between NVIDIA's optimizations and the optimizations I have been trying and reading, and I think I have found the actual, maybe, optimum. Um, and it seems to be working pretty freaking well so far, so... Here's to hoping I've done it. Fuck. Pretty sure I've reported that buzzing isn't getting through to the stream, or if okay. it is, it's indistinguishable from ambiance, so it's all okay. good. That's all I wanted to know. Anytime, Piper. 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 Eh. <laughs> to cover me, Piper. They're just robots, Piper. It's okay to call up robots. Yeah, they don't have feelings, Piper. God, what other guns do I have? Cause this... feel like... Maybe I have a better one then for this? Uh, cause that's my short combat rifle. No, I think that's about the best rifle I have right now. Hmm... A short hunting rifle. And I have this, which is even less, but it fires much faster. It fires twice as fast, but does half the damage. Ugh. So g -Up apparently already has a sniper rifle at this point. Or like earlier. So where the frick is my frickin' sniper rifle? I feel like I've just like missed a gun somewhere that I was like supposed to get. Yeah, Mr. Cash, or maybe you just, I'm not sure how wide the variance is on loot for regular enemies. Maybe you just got a lucky drop off some randos. It could be the case. And I have no real way to know. Um, yeah. Eh, yeah, fuck it, I want to see, but... Oh, okay, someone in chat is saying I've been playing for eight hours and I've made more progress than they have in 24. So, okay, maybe I'm just doing the old Tie Tuesday thing and rushing a little bit. Yeah, you're just beelining along content and not faffing about as much as they expect. Mm hmm A bad, a bad habit, I guess, that Bethesda games don't like. New Vegas was cool with it, as long as I, like, planned. So, yeah, I was even joking that, like, um, this game's current biggest flaw, uh, in my opinion is other than the huge turret erection this game has um i don't give a shit about the main story um as far as like um some kind of sun problem you know like whatever whatever you hope to accomplish in here i got some problem with the sun i guess not gonna go your way. <laughs> i just don't really care about the sun at all um whoop. And I think I'm supposed to. But I just cannot be arsed uh, to care about that. Whereas, like, New Vegas, at least I was like, oh, that guy's trying to kill me? Well, I better kill the shit out of him. <laughs> like, but fuck him. The guy left me for dead. Yeah, I'll kill him. Um, and uh, Future Brand even was mentioning, he's just like, yeah, there hasn't really been a good story in, like, a good main storyline in a Bethesda game. They do better side stories. And I was like, well, what about New Vegas? And then he reminded me that New Vegas, in fact, not a Bethesda game. <laughs> and I was like, ah. You're right. Speaking of turrets. Ah, the next generation of turrets. Blue. Yeah, laser. And on the roof. Ugh. Fucking die. But well, once the modding toolkit is out, maybe the community will fix the problems with the main story. You just find the good sun mod. Want to help yourself? All right, Piper, you're being a little bit of a bit of a weenie. With the- wow, you have all- oh, why do you have ammo? 
All right. Well, that's not actually. Not my bad. Don't worry. It, it's just problem. lasers. It's just light. You you encounter light every day. One sec. I'm giving her a gun. We're officially hitting the point of Piper. Get out. Get a gun. And yeah, you know what? I'm too much. That alone. would probably make people care more. Just mod to replace your baby with another dog. Just a small dog. Yeah, just a smaller, cuter dog. Yeah, like a little Pomeranian or something. People love that shit. Um, all right, Piper. So do I need to give her a single round of that, from my understanding? Or else she can't fire it? Something weird like that? Yeah, she needs like at least one valid bullet, and then she's good to go. All right. Um, I'll just give her two for safety here. One for each, but you think five. There you go. Go ham, Piper. All right, fuck him up, Piper. Yep, this is already working out in my favor. One, two, three, four, five. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, I'll switch to my slightly less shit gun here. Um, which was my combat rifle. Use my grid headshot. Nice! And Grim Reaper sprint. <laughs> It's me, the world's dumbest reaper. Hmm. Now the question is, is that a turret or is that a person? A robot who's like a turret that can walk. I mean, if you think about it, Loon, all enemies... Are Some just, sort of leg gun. Yeah, they're just turrets. Nah, turret it's just legs, a regular turret. turret with wheels with wings. Please shoot the goddamn turret, Piper. Alright, I got it. I wish they would make the uh, friendly AI a little more aggressive. I feel like that would make me like this game a lot more if my AI was more willing to like go fuck you know fuck shit up and not always be kind of wandering around in the back like I know that's why Boone was so good in New Vegas because you could just give him a sniper rifle and he, he defaulted with one so you'd just be like oh okay kill people from over there yeah sure <laughs> nice Thanks, Piper. Okay, that's where those guys were. Uh. Hey. <laughs> uh, this guy stuck. years lodged in that window. <laughs> this guy stuck no bones about it. He's really in there. Piper, please. Don't be rude. Man, how did he get lodged in there? I don't know. Where they were, they are lodged as hell. Ah, apples. It's a gap that's just smaller than his bones. Both sides. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh my god, I found a Nuka Cola machine with a Nuka Cola in it. It happened, finally. 
Huh. Yes. All right. Uh, energy weapon bobblehead. I get a permanent 25% critical bonus with that. Well, I guess I'm going to have to use more energy weapons. Because critical hits are kind of going to be my thing. Is Do you have any? What, energy weapons? I have some really shitty ones. The ones that they these guys have been dropping, basically. Hmm. Either way, that's a permanent thing, so it's not like it's like a big risk or anything. Like I just always have that now. Overactive sensors, nothing more. Hello. I hear some. Oh, come on, hit him! Hit him! Fuck's sake! Piper, where the fuck is Piper? Christ's sakes, Piper, you are the one with the shotgun. Did you at least kill that guy? I guess you did. Uh, no? Okay. What? I don't even know what the hell Piper did. Well, I found a good bobblehead, so that's nice. That's a plus. Yeah, we are in this place that is infested and ro with robots and maybe smells like man who took your son. That's where yeah. he left off. Yeah, yeah, we're looking for our child, and I just got the password to the armory, so that's good if I find the fucking armory. But yeah, no, we were just like following down, and this guy's taunting us. He's like, I didn't think you'd make it all the way here, and like. I don't really know where I'm going at this point. You got guts and determination. Oh! It's admirable. Oh, he said we have the determination. But you don't even know. My friend just started having a bad time. And I sent him all sorts of messages letting him know I thought it was funny. Let's just fuck this robot up. Hmm, synth patroller, huh? That sounds dangerous. How do I not? What? Did I use all my damn grenades? Oh. Apparently I used all my damn grenades. Well. How about these ones? What? Apparently that guy decided he just did not give a shit about that grenade. That's fucking spicy as hell. Oh, nice! We got triple experience off of him and a Grim Reaper sprint. Nice. What do I have that's not worth a lot? Let me sort by weight here. That's important. Um, I mean, these are kind of, these are kind of trash, so. I can just get rid of, are they all the same? Well, five, no, that one costs this way some more, okay. Drop, drop, um, drop. Probably have some dumb apparel that, I have fucking f four of those? All right, let me sort my weight again. Why don't I have these dropped off in my armor? Mm. I need to remember to do that. That's taking up like, like in like 50 of my weight. <laughs> and I keep forgetting to do it. Oh, well. But yeah, game seems to be running now um, that I changed everything. Um, it's not too NVIDIA had some random shit they wanted me to turn off that's not in any settings at all, by the way. Oh, frick. Like, as in not in the settings for in the game or in the launcher. Like, wetness. I had to turn wetness to zero. I had to disable the wetness. Oh, hey. Yeah, I have the password, sure.
All right. Cool. Uh, that hopefully we nice gun. Stimpy, stimpy. Drug, drug, drug. Bobby pins, a bunch of them. All right. What are these? Brick. Oh, I said to not rotate it. Duct tape. All right, let me turn on my light. Uh, stim pack. Health, health. There we go. And hot. Damn, there's a lot of. Hello? Yeah, we'll find a way to make room for this shit. Piper, who is shooting at you? Piper, I'm busy. Piper, I just found a nuke launcher. Can you hold can you hold on? Like Piper, come on. I just found nukes. Can you hang on? Can we chill and appreciate the thing I did just now? Piper, help. I locked myself in with the nukes. <laughs> Piper, can you carry some of this? Piper. <laughs> How much can Piper carry? Because I am like 25 over right now. Piper can't carry anymore. Uh. Alright, well, time to start. They're dropping shit. Because those are really valuable, too. Um... And I'll just drop these because they weigh three. Drop, drop. Um, sort of a weight. Okay, I like that one though. Door, formal hat. Weapons. Yeah, that's the problem is the fat man weighs 30. But it does do 500 damage. So, like, that's pretty good. Also, the automatic laser pistol is way better than those Institute ones, I'm pretty sure. Just in about every way. Yeah. So I'll be dropping that right here. Um, and don't really need that. And I think that's enough. All right, Piper. Our work here is done. I, there's something about my son, I guess. But, like, we can do that later. Not really that important if we're being real. I got a nuke. Oh, hey. Okay, just let me sleep here. Nothing stays hidden forever. At least, not if I have my say. <laughs> ah, my neighbor thinks he's so great. He can't afford alarm clock. That's in better I have alarm clock. <laughs> Password required. <sighs> Okay, there's a bracket trick here. And are there any others? To see, I can make one legit attempt and then just, um, just, you know, do the, do the normal thing everyone ends up doing. one all right now to make one honest attempt at doing this um one shares a lot of stuff steps well <laughs> I have disabled all turrets.
All right, I disabled one turret. I have already blown up the other two. Whatever. There we go. I don't even know what this person was saying I need to learn. I just saw something. It's probably a Fallout thing and I probably know it. It's probably just more of a pain in the ass. I'm guessing. I don't know who- It was, I don't think actually, but they were discussing how the, the hacking. Just like how it works in general? Yeah. Yeah, no, I know. It's like you find a letter in the position and blah, 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 you match them up. Or you can just pick three at random, back out, pick three at random, back out, and that's actually the fastest way to do it. And it always works. Because Bethesda still hasn't gotten through that. Like, they even just finally, I think, gave up. <laughs> I think they just gave up, which is why they make it just a 10 second cooldown now. They just make it a minor inconvenience. Because they realize, like, n people will just save scum through it if they do that, you know? Like, people just don't give a shit. Alright. Oh, and yeah, no, I already- I literally did bracket tricks. Also, my power just flickered for a second, just as a heads up. There's sort of a snowstorm going on right now, so... I, I managed to drive without dying, though, so I'm pretty proud. That's good stuff. Yeah, no, well, I know how bracket tricks work. I, I was doing- I did two of them! Like, what are you talking about? It's, it's just faster to scan than to, like, look. I swear. Yeah. It is quite often in a game, like, for- I've been doing this for ages. Bracket tricks haven't changed since Fallout 3. You just scan over and see when an open and close bracket- Basically, you can just scan real quick and see if something highlights that is not a word. And you're good. You can finish all of it very quickly. That's my recommendation. If you have a mouse, also works with the uh, keyboard. Where is my son? Where is Sean? <laughs> Pal, I'm just a puppet like you. My stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. A bit older than you expected, am I right? But he's doing great. Only, he's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker. Where is my son? What's the cliche? So close, yeah, your your dialogue subs are off again. Ah, uh, one second. It keeps happening. Mm -hmm. Both of them. That's Sean. But don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah oh well. Look, and this guy's even saying, he's like, your son is old. You were asleep for 200 years. So where is it? Huh? This institute. How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the institute. The institute finds you. You open the closet. It's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? No mercy. I'm going to make you suffer. Man's outfit just has a shoulder belt. There's nothing attached to it, it's just a belt around a quarter of his torso. Oh, I meant to make the headshot the critical. Oops. Oops. Oops! Oh, 
Oh, he's got like a million cents on me. Okay. Really? Mod to replace all plot relevant dialogue choices with just screaming Sean. Sean! What? Oh. Oh! He's cloaking. Okay. If you find your son, I hope he doesn't even know that was his name. Like, why would he's he? He's Jeff now. Yeah, he just... You just are making yourself invisible. And I don't really have a way around this. What? Um. Alright, so this boss fight is kind of bullshit. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, I'll have to quick save. Closer to that. That's kind of, uh, that's kind of bullshit. <laughs> What's that for? Oh yeah, do I have to do this again or do I already do it? Yup. Ugh. <laughs> Loads. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, I'll just have to, um, I'll have to quick save at this invisible man, because that is the pits. I think that's kind of indefensible, if there's, like, no way around it or no, I'm sure there's some really ridiculous clever thing I could probably do, but, like, really, just really... Every time I want to like you, Fallout, you gotta do something like this. <laughs> you can't hide from a mini nuke. Well, neither can I. It wouldn't be so bad, but the autosave wasn't just, like, right outside of his door, which is stupid. Like, they should have been like, ah, you're probably going to die here. Let's put an autosave mm, right room. here. Yeah, like, why? Well, mm. Like, I have a feeling if I had... Boss this, room. I have Possibility a, of important story decisions. Hmm. I have a really mm. bad feeling that, like, if I hadn't slept in that room back there, it wouldn't have even put me there. Alright, well, don't mind me, just gonna save here. <laughs> oh, now it auto-saves here! <laughs> what?! You son of a bitch! Resilient man in the Commonwealth. Funny. I thought I had that honor. What? What? Where is my son? Sean's a good kid. Really? No, <laughs> Sean's a good kid. Really? One sec, even though I'm skipping dialogue, I have to wait through his animations. Talk. Tell me where he Fine. Is. I guess Sean's in a good place. Right. So where is it? <laughs> you open the clock. But I think... You know... In a hundred years, when I finally die... I only hope I go to hell, so I can kill you all over again, you piece of shit. No you don't! <laughs> I am getting that fucking critical strike on you, invisible, you invisible motherfucker! I'm getting as much damage on your invisible ass as I can, right up front.
Ugh. Damn it, that was a 50-50 and I failed it. Oh. Did he just not turn invisible? Is that like the joke here? You just, just can't use vats on him ever? Oh, there it goes. You have fricked up. God, he has so much health too. Good, just an invisible man with a billion health. What a good fight. Fuck me! And he does way more damage than me, dude. You got no. any pulse grenade left? Those might fuck with invisibility, maybe? Maybe? One sec, let me skip through this dialogue. Is so where is it? Oh, I'm ready. Question is, are you? All right, and I got full refill on my AP from that because Grim Reapers, but too bad he's invisible right now. Womp womp. Hmm. What? I accidentally interacted with the med kit. Fucking. God, like, I can see him. Just let me fucking... Mm. He's got some gun that does, like, octuple damage. Just let me use fucking bats. I can see him. Like, you're giving me an indicator that he is there. Don't fucking... Yeah, he does one fifth of my health with every bullet. Where is my God damn it, you motherfucker. What's the call? Go. So where is it? Huh? Your spouse is very dead. Yeah. You watch your spouse get murdered and your baby be stolen. From the days, comfort of your cryo tomb. Die. I only hope Oh good, they don't let me um open my pit boy either. Right here. Okay, here we go. Let me get some buffs going. One second, hold on, I have to do a bunch of drugs. Alright, uh... I have become addicted to all buff out chems. Nice, okay. Um, <laughs> whatever, fuck it, I don't care. Um, Medax. Um, I've addi I'm addicted to that. I'll have to get an Addictrol at some point or something. Uh, my phone is still able to ring. Um, yeah, Orange Man's Hats. I'll do one of those. Um. Kill you all over it. Yeah, just hit me up with all the drugs. Yeah, you piece of shit. Here I go. Knock, 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 knock. Piper. Yeah, it's just really ridiculous how he is just a complete non-threat. Or his synths are just a complete non-threat. Just if he gets to you, it's like, oh, well, I'm dead. Game design. Can I quick save here? Is this legal? Is this... Piper, you got this. I missed. Nice thing is if one hits, I can make the next a crit. Thanks, High Lux stat. Now just hit. Just hit. Just hit him. Fucking shit. Okay. Sixty-five. 
cybernetic brain augmenter. <laughs> oh god. Oh man. Oh, I want this. I need more 44 rounds. Frag grenade stealth boy. Holy shit. That guy's covered in good stuff. Now to raid the room for fucking med packs and shit. Oh man, at least there was a payoff on this one. Ah, good, and something to cure my addiction. And I got Pitfall. So I just got a Pitfall game. Um, man, now I have to get 44 ammo, and I guarantee that's going to be, like, super goddamn rare. Man. That's the worst. Hey, God. fuck you. <laughs> uh, purified water. Bottle cap round. Pocketed metal leg. Oh man, as soon as my buff out wears off, I am gonna be just dry. I have to drop everything. We have mobilized. Y'all, I better hurry. Bill just cut left. Or, oh, I probably have to use the terminal. Access log, boy Sean. New orders track down Renegade. I'm not soon. Um, so we didn't really learn anything. Um, at all. I found a pretty it's nice. Correct. Gun. This man stole your baby and sold him. Yep. Sorry, Piper. Bye. Hey, Piper. Turret control. Deactivate. Oh good, now that I'm in and leaving, I now can disable the turrets. Zeppelins. The bro the Brotherhood of, of Steel course. are here. Yeah, Steel Boys. Yeah, I didn't know they'd give them a... Give them a fucking airship. Also, yeah, let me put on that, um... Oh yeah, quick question for chat. Do I ever get like a house that I can store shit in? That's something I'm okay with having answered. You should be able to store stuff at your village, shouldn't you? 
I think so, but I don't know how, because I can store, like, junk there. Can buy a house in Diamond City, or can I just... Oh, you can build a storage container in your village and then put stuff in it. Okay. Uh, I fucked it. Oh, I'm not dead, though. Alright, well, I'm either way just gonna go ahead and... Um... I think their blimp will just fly around on its own accord. So I should go to Diamond City Market. And sell shit. Oh no, my drugs wore off during fast travel and I no longer can run. You see that big blimp? What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here? A uh, robot, would you like to... <laughs> Buy my yeah. wares. Only $130 on him. Oh, he'll only buy aid in inventory though. He will not buy my guns. He is a restaurant. He will not accept payments Which in guns. Which is weird, because everybody else will. Well, here, have some rad stag. He is but a simple chef bot. He understands only noodles. Um, here's some beans. Think about those. Um, mongrel dog meat, have some other meats <laughs> all right that'll Dude, come on. At least carry something before you cripple yourself. no i just need to sell some stuff i'm good yeah See what you have. Excellent. All right, good. Now let me sort things based on. Actually, I should just sort everything. My entire inventory based on weight. What weighs the most? The fat man. And then the torso. Do I just want to? I don't feel like I'm going to use the parm power, the parmer armor. I don't feel like I'm going to use the parmer armor. Hmm. The parmigiana. Mm-hmm. Extinguisher. Yeah, that's the decent pistol I have um didn't I have something good that used 38 I've got that at least so I have a good 10 millimeter it's used that I guess maybe all these things I think it's got fiber optics but whatever I'm not really doing much in the way of, um, the whole, you know, um, crafting. So, I don't really care too much. Um, military grade circuit boards. Yeah. There you go. Have some hides. That's mine. I need to put that on right fucking now. Look how much better that is than everything I have. Holy cow. There you go. Um, so, like, honestly, I just don't know if I... Mm, I could just sell this stuff right out. Like, the right leg and the torso. Just make a bunch of money. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably just fast travel back and... Try and use it. Station wrench. See, I don't know about the cybernetic stuff. Can I use that for anything? That seems like it actually is kind of interesting. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wish I could just sort. Can I just sort to junk? I mean, I guess that's the stuff that I can just dump real easy, but. Yeah. Alright, well. I'll yeah, like, have, you, uh, have you met any surgeons? What do you mean? Like, regarding, like, the cybernetic stuff, have you I met anybody who seems so. like they might be the guy you'd go to to install I, wares? I don't think so yet. But, you know, that's just, like, that seems like a really rare item to just be nothing. But I'm gonna go to the Red Rocket truck stop and drop off my shit with my armor. Just, huh, a pain inhibitor. I guess there's aluminum in it? Crunch. <laughs> the pink on purple is my choice. Suck it. I get so bored with the green. <laughs> no, I'm not trying different shades of purple. That shit is a pain in the ass. Every time. And I'm not I'm definitely not changing this from white, because for some reason, like, the background doesn't change, so there's just no reason to not have it white. It's just super readable. Yeah, it's just whatever colors you like. I like blue and green. And purple. Now, for anything that lets you customize the colors of your interface, what I always want to see is the ability to have it just shift around over time automatically. Put it on shuffle. Put my colors to drift around the spectrum. Can I just put these, like, in storage? Is that not a thing? Do the rest have to... does all this sit in my inventory? I really do just have to, like, build a box in my garage. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, well. Is there, like, a dumpster anywhere? I'm just gonna build. What would that be under? Probably structure. All pole. Prefabs, floors, wood house, stairs, miscellaneous. Railing. Okay, these are like actual like building stuff. Furniture, beds, chairs, containers. Yeah, there we go. Bureau, cabinet. <laughs> Cooler, desk, dresser. File cabinet. What's the dumbest thing for me to put, put shit in. I think I'm just gonna build, like, multiple armoires. Your power armoires. Mm-hmm. There. I'm just gonna fill my fucking garage with armoires. Or just right outside. <laughs> ah. Very good. <laughs> yeah, let me get change my shirt here real quick. Power arm walls. <laughs> hey, Spike. <laughs> How's it going, man? Oh, jeez. Wardrobe never changes. Yes. <laughs> oh shoot! I'm at the transfer. Yeah, here, have a dog collar, have one of these. One of those bad boys. Yeah, take that. Mm -hmm. In fact, let's just go... Well, first let me transfer all of my junk to the junkin' bench. Just, just... Store all junk. And now all of my junk that I could use, possibly. Now, do I have to destroy it here, or does it auto-destroy if I need things? This is what I'm never- there's so many things I'm not sure on. In this fucking weird-ass little workshop system. It auto-destroys if I need it? Okay. So I just have all that shit. As you craft it? Okay, nice. Local yeah. happiness is down. Why- uh, what's wrong with the arm- why is it- why are the armoires popular? Is this really a thing people are getting concerned about? No, it's because I haven't done, like, anything. Like, I have nothing 
at all. Let me just go to my inventory and sort by fucking weight. Just dump everything I'm not using. There's just a nuke launcher hanging out there. Don't worry about that, anybody. No big deal. It's whatever. I wonder if these... Well, I'm gonna store these just in case. Quest items cannot be removed from your inventory. Wait, really? So this one is a quest item and it has weight? I guess. So his brain is a quest item, but his arms are not. Well, I guess I'll keep those just in case they're one weight each. Whatever. Can it do anything just as is? No. I mean, it's one weight, though. It's not that big a deal. Now that I've dropped off all the armor and shit, all the things that were taking up insane amounts of my weight, I'm now at 95 out of 260 weight. And, like, some of that is clothes and weapon I am using. Piper! 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 Hey. Where to? Give me your things. What? Pipe, pipe. Probably have something you can use. Piper, what are you cooking? <laughs> I didn't approve this. Yeah, I'm just gonna store everything here, and then one day when I need a lot of money, I can just sell everything I own. <laughs> Wait, isn't that the gun she has equipped? One day I'm just gonna need a shitload of money and I'm gonna come back to my arm walls. <laughs> oh, I do have dog armor for when I get my dog back. Yeah, whatever. That's good enough. Can we customize the dog armor? I don't think we can customize. Well, maybe we could like give upgrades to the dog armor. I'm really shit at like upgrading stuff, and I don't feel like putting points into upgrading things. Like I don't think you should have to use skill points to be better at building a town. I think that is asinine. Because, yeah, happiness is down, but there's also no people here. So, like, how... What? The cars are very sad. I guess. And I don't have concrete. At all. 200-year-old cars. Terribly disappointed in you. I should just go to well, that my dog mates here. Just... Maybe, maybe he's yeah. sad. Yeah. The lone resident. Well... Either way, I just wanted to drop all that shit off so I can now go on actual adventure. Um, the question is, which adventure? Because I actually have like 10 quests now. I guess turn in the reunions quest at least? Yeah, I'll go talk to Nick. And I'm going to make sure I quick save before I do that. Because I have a feeling this is going to be enough uh, experience that it'll be worth saves coming to get Idiot Savant to trigger, and I have no shame in doing that. If it's like a shitload of experience. Especially because I'm right on the verge of level 11. RE4's inventory management was fine as long as you weren't trying to carry every kind of weapon. Like, honestly, all you ever needed to do in RE4 was like, okay, I have decided I'm using these three weapons, and then you never had to worry about inventory management. Ever. It was just to deter someone from being like, I'm taking every gun! I can never remember where I'm going for Nick's office. Oh, there it is. Okay. Weight limits and other inventory limits are only interesting if you don't have the option of just back mewling back and forth until you get everything anyway. Mm -hmm. Like, you're, if you're building scenarios where part of the difficulty is like time constraints and needing to make trade offs between 
what you're bringing and what you're not. Hey, Valentine. Where's your son? Oh, I should make sure a quick regular save on top of the quick save or else the game might pull a quick one. Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be the Institute? <laughs> I'm sorry, friend. He ain't kidding. Heck, he makes the synth and even he doesn't know. No synth does. Security protocol. Bullshit. You're a synth, Valentine. Tell me what you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, boy. It's all right. The man's clearly upset. Look, Piper's right. Sad thing is, I have no idea. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. True General purpose and Sometimes That's generally awful. Especially if you're in like some sort of big exploratory open world zone where you're going to do a lot of legwork. The Here's the thing you can do if you want to move at one fifth your normal speed. Mm -hmm. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed the. Don't make Goggle Piper sad. Hey, I'm character acting. He'd be a man. Man like that would have had access in and out. Yeah, but I'm guessing he wasn't the surrender and talk. Yeah. That's what I thought. You know, the way they do encumbrance in, like, the Souls games, where it just matters what things you're wearing at the moment, and so that just becomes part of the trade-off between light or heavy equipment. Do you want to be a swift boy or a tough boy? If I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. If anyone right, memory dead. Had a dead brain to sing. What? I like this. You're right, Nick. Let's see. This. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Yeah. This is Nick. Gross. I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no lead. All right. I already have his Actually, brain. I think I already have something. Kellogg had this cybernetics, huh? Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can all go running. Yes. I have to go to the memory den either way if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're going to get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Hmm. I'll try reloading once. Just to see, because then I can speed run it too. Hmm. 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 All right. Um. Where again? No. You don't know anything. Nick? I woke up. I've been investigating. Really? True enough. Sometimes they. Where the in exactly? Kellogg. Really? What about him? He had to have a way. He's dead, Nick. So. Um So what gets his brain you Look, there's a if anyone I hope you're right. Let's see. Oh? Jesus. I know it's Actually, I think I already have some. Come on. Let me quick save here. <laughs> see how cybernetics, huh? Whether we're right. I have to go though. Let me see if I can just quick save and regular save here and just load this last decision. Okay. Sounds good. Don't worry. Let's just see if this works, if this is legal, because if so, then I know exactly how speedrunning will be done. I'll head out with sounds don't. Hmm. Are you allowed to do that? Is that a thing you can do? By the way, does anyone know if you can? Because you can get it with quests, right? I'll yeah, imagine if you didn't good. take that thing. Stay out of Don't worry. Yeah, that would be the worst if you, like, didn't bring that with you. Well, once you have it, you can't put it away. You liked it as a quest thing. Well, no, no, but I mean, like, if you I'll didn't pick it up. Sounds good. Yeah, just you never took it in the first place. Yeah, that would be awful. There we go. I'm gonna get you a boy 
right now. <laughs> hey, guess who, instead of getting 270 experience, got 800. <laughs> nice. Okay. Hello, please let me go to perk menu. No? Also, I'm still high, by the way. In case anyone was wondering, yes, I am in fact still very high right now. I'm in the game, my guy is still maximum high. Um, so we're gonna go idiot savant here. The more aggressively you exploit that, the faster you can power your way up to the higher ranks of idiot savant. Exactly, and that's the thing is now I get times five anytime it triggers, which is ridiculous. Ellie? Always a trail to be followed. Road up, dub, thanks for the grub. All right, let's go. Yeah, Idiot Samantha is good no matter what. It's just more good the higher level you are with it as well. Um, let's just look at a map and decide on a quest. Uh, Dr. Amari, or I could go to the Brotherhood of Steel, or the Curtain Call, or Freedom Trail, or out in left field, or this one, talk to people at Oberlin Station. Or fire support, or sanctuary, or miscellaneous. Oh, I have a Nuka Cola I can give that guy. Sure. Let's give a very fucked up man a soda. Hey, hangover boy. Hey, yeah, a part of it of why it is Savant is great is if you choose to raise your end anyway, it doesn't shut off Savant. It just makes it have less of a ridiculous effect, yeah. Nuka Cola. You just trade the chance of a spike with Savant for, you know, the consistent bonus you get out of the end point. Still have this chance of the Savant bonus anyway. Oh my the god, I could on get... top of the end bonus. Oh my god, if I had quick saved recently. Oh, it quick saved when I left. Okay, I have to try something. Could I get like a full quest worth of experience from giving this man a soda? Like, are you kidding me? That would be 400. No fucking way. <laughs> That's like two levels. Oh my god. Please tell me this works. Broke up with my girl. <laughs> if so, this is. Super busted. No, I am safe scum and giving a man a soda. Thirsty. New Coca-Cola. Let me quick save giving this man a soda. Load. Confirm. We call this the Burpo maneuver. Here you go. <gasps> yeah, if only there was a quick load button that would make this even dumber. There is not a. Why would there be a quick load button? Go. No, no, there's not a quick load button. That's a legitimately bad idea. A quick load button? That's a terrible idea. F9 is quick load? There is a quick load button? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. There is a quick load button. Why is there a quick load button? That's such a shit idea. Also, hey, guess what? Just leveled up. Got more experience than we would have gotten from... No, there, there's only quick load buttons in emulators, voice of dog. There are voice of- <laughs> emulators have quick load buttons. Not actual games made by real people. <laughs> like, no. Um, also I think it's time for Four Leaf Clover, which is also ridiculous. Um... Let's 
Scrounger might be nice. But four leaf clover is ridiculous. All right, usually I don't get nitpicky on this stuff, but a ton of games have quick load what buttons. What games have quick load buttons and quick save? <clears throat> I can't Let's think see, of Let's see, games I've played recently that have... Let, let me let me just open up my Steam list thing here. Uh, yeah, I see Fallout and Stalker. That's the only ones people have said. Uh, all of the Shadowrun games, Deus Ex, Dishonored... All games uh, I don't play. Any game. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> so exactly. those are all, yeah, I was like, so They're like... Right. PC strategy, tactical, yeah, the ones that I'm usually not that into. Okay. Like, yeah. Brimrock. Like, it, it, again, yeah, XCOM, I guess, would have one, probably, I'm guessing. Yeah, single player source games. Okay. It's kind of important for the experience of not wasting your time. <laughs> so, games that have design issues have quick load buttons. <clears throat> Got it. Yes. <laughs> okay. I mean, I like it in games like Dishonored or Deus Ex because it's an easy way to be like, hey, I want to see if this will work. No, that didn't work. Maybe this will work. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Now I can do that. Yeah. Why you thought it'd be a bad idea? Because if you accidentally quick load at like a bad time, I mean, it's F9, so it's far enough out of the it's... way. That you wouldn't do it it's on always, accident. <clears throat> it's almost always, uh, like on the other yeah, on somewhere the other the other set FPs. of F buttons. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever accidentally quick loaded anything. No, F nine is far quick loading. Yeah, F nine is far enough out of the way that it's not the thing. But also, yeah, it's PC exclusive for sure. Which, again, I usually don't like a lot of games that are PC exclusive exclusive, like for real. The no, R2 is the quick load on most games. That's that's what I'm saying. R2? What? No, I'm just making this. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, F9, which is close to F10, which is also usually close program. Now that's some good design. Yeah, like I said, shit design. It's a bad idea to have a quick load button. It's a bad idea to have to force save scumming, in general. Like, having that be a beneficial thing usually means you fricked it. Yes, but I would rather have it and be able to use it than not. I'd rather them design it in a way that I don't need to. But, given they can't do that, I'm okay with it being there. Word of advice. Never call your mother a Keyboard with the power uh, button? A lot of games. That's a really bad idea. <laughs> A lot of games nowadays just use a lot of uh, uh, constant checkpointing, which mm -hmm. that would be your. Own. You can't do that in a game like this. I there's mean, too much shit going on. You can. There's not. But there's never like a singular constantly. objective. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it glitches too much. That's why you can't <clears> do it. <throat> it's not because there's too much going on. It's just because the game's too broken. I, I disagree. I don't think it would function at all if you tried to if you tried to uh, go with only. What the hell is that thing? Oh, you don't have to go only with quick saves. Like you can still have regular saves and shit, but like it just being in a way where it, it just it'd be too easy to glitch through the floor and then just lose. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't. Also, I don't know why the, people uh, think the, checkpoints are way worse than auto saves. That when they're the same it, thing, like, it just, depends on how well they're designed. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I'm saying is they are better when they're designed properly. Because quick save is just make your own checkpoints, and the game devs being bad at their jobs. <laughs> it's almost always just like, eh, we couldn't figure out how to make this work. Eh. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna fuck up this dog. Maybe? Oh, apparently this is some kind of high-level fear mongrel. I just think anything that encourages save scumming is just sloppy. Which, I mean, it's Fallout, so it's kinda... Fallout.txt, it's real sloppy.
And yeah, I mean, people are saying it lets me test a thing that's stupid. You can do that with regular saves. I mean, eh, see, that's still kind of stupid. I like save anywhere, but at the same time, like, the fact that you're using it to, like, be like, what happens if I punch someone in the face? Oh, they kill me. Okay, well, I'll quick load. Like, really? <laughs> that that kind of shows that the game's more of a yeah, sandbox. Yeah, that kind of stuff than... is really fun. That's, yeah. that's the future friend method. Without that, we wouldn't have all... We wouldn't have a bunch of crazy stuff happening that we don't want to actually happen because it'll fuck up the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we wouldn't have to take any, you know, seriousness to any actions we take ever in a game. So you're saying you, you would rather have the David Cage method of saving? No. Well, David Cage is just... That's not a fair comparison at all. David Cage is just trash. <laughs> it's 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 the opposite philosophy of what you're talking about. Also, you can only play the game once, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, once you die, it's over. Oh, yeah. David yeah, Cage. You yeah. can play it once, and then it uninstalls and melts your computer. <laughs> but honestly, if you can go into a menu, save your game, and then go into a menu... And then load your game. Yeah, like see again, why you can't I, have quick, I just think, quick I just think, yeah, that. yeah. If the buttons are far enough out of the way, see, that's why. I, when I said having quick save, quick load buttons was a bad idea, I was talking about a like easily mistaken quick save and load yeah, buttons. Yeah, that's what I was talking idea. about. I wasn't talking about if it was like F9 or some shit, which is what it is. Like that's like okay, but apparently it used to be F5 and F6, or next to F10, which closes it. <laughs> you should only play the game once. <laughs> it still makes me laugh. <laughs> what a they... fucking moron. Was that a thing David Cage said? Yeah, that's what he said about Heavy Rain. He was like, he was encouraging people to not, so that your choices have meaning, and when the story's over, it's over. It's like, no, fuck you, there's all these choices. Of course people are going to play it more than once. See, assuming they don't fucking hate it. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about, is what someone in chat just mentioned, which I used to mess up ZNES all the time, because I would accidentally, like, hit load instead of save, or the other way around. Like, that kind of thing. That's what I meant, is if the buttons are, like, too close together, or you use the wrong ones or something, instead of having it be an option like if you accidentally loaded from earlier in the game that'd be really frustrating but yeah it's f9 which i don't think anything is near like unless you decide to put an item on nine i remember playing a game uh uh on ZSNES that had really broken save stating so every time you would load a state it would reset all of the story flags in the game and would completely break everything yeah that was uh, treasure hunter that is treasure hunter g yep Wait, what yeah, there's some weirdness what about how we've stored data. Uh, a uh, tr uh, fan translated SquareSoft game that was actually quite good. But what did it do? Oh, if you l well, let's say you're like in one level of the game and you do and you do some like story event, and there's you know you've you've completed that flag, you've triggered that flag. If you were to load state and then walk back through there, those characters that you fought in like a story battle would still be there and would potentially fuck up the entire game. So Wait, if there's some sort of like... So it saved things that the save state didn't save? What? <laughs> you could you could save the game, you know, in the game's internal memory thing, whatever, using save points, but if you tried to use save states with that game, it would completely fuck up. It, it would reset all of the flags. What? <laughs> How the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. It's the only game I've ever seen that happen for, and it's terrifying. Like it had some unusual architecture on the physical physical cartridge when it was built that worked fine on hardware, but emulators were not equipped to deal with that edge case. So it caused weird behavior about retaining or overwriting data. You'd end up stuck constantly. The other way, you'd be stuck constantly repeating different scripted sequences and never being able to move forward because it could not properly save the event flags you were tripping to say, okay, move on. Yeah, you're robotting yeah. pretty you're robotting pretty hard, by the way. Might be worth a disconnect or connect. No, no, just loon. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, when I figured out it was safe stating that was doing it, I finally was able to get through the game. I just thought the game was broken as fuck. So have you played any of uh Fallout 4 yet? Me? No. Oh, okay. 
I don't have fifty. I don't have fifty dollars. I, I, I was asking. Yeah, that's why I was, I was using my mouth words to ask question, as people do. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's all right so far. There's a lot of questionable design stuff, and the story is trash. <laughs> so, the only one I've cared about still is still uh, New Vegas. John. Yeah, New Vegas, which as was pointed out to me by a future friend, was not Bethesda, and that's why it was probably okay. Uh -oh, Which is the good rating. one again, Obsidian? Uh, yeah. What did they, what other, did they do Skyrim? I don't know. They really didn't care for Skyrim. Uh oh, he mutated. That's more of a thematic thing, though. This guy just does a shitload of damage. Obsidian is my Armored Warfare, Pillars of Dungeon Siege, New Vegas Alpha Protocol. They did Alpha Protocol. Oh, yeah. Neverwinter Nights and uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2. <laughs> Let me tell you about a game you uh, saves come a whole lot. <laughs> what? That's Alpha Protocol. Alpha Protocol for sure. I heard that was very, that was pretty damn not good. I disagree. I think it's great. Really? Yep. I have heard like nothing but like I've heard that nothing works right. Like there's no way to play the game that makes it work properly. Like nothing is balanced correctly in the whole thing. That's what I've heard about it. And that's about it. Oh no, balance is completely fucked, but it's still fun. Oh okay. There's there's actually and there's also dialogue trees that actually matter because individual choices will. Yeah, like the, the selling points you... are is that there's points. a whole lot of variations on all of the scenes depending on which characters that you work well with or betray and so forth over the course Stupid of your... Stupid amount you know, of just... ways things can happen. People are saying really good ideas that were rushed out the door. And you can tell. Oh yeah, future friend just did like the most stupid build. Just, just all he would just run up to people and knee them in the face, and he went through the game pretty much doing mostly that. And he could do that. Yo, zero percent chance, my balls. I can hit that frag mine. Who's shooting? Oh. This is a very dangerous dog. And I just got four leaf clover to trigger. Which one is that? The critical one? Uh, I get a full critical bar. Also, somehow something took away my entire AP bar, though. <laughs> it's fucking weird. Oh, I just realized. I just realized now that the accuracy things update because we're not in frozen time. Yeah, I thought New Vegas was just really slowed down time, but apparently it was frozen time too. Oh yeah, no, it was definitely frozen. Okay. Yeah, that uh, that big thing they push about how it makes vats not broken. Nah, they're dumb. <laughs> vats are still totally fucking busted. It's exactly as busted as it's always been. Like. The only thing that's like makes vats not busted is just the balancing of enemies. It's, it's, it's usually okay. You have to actually be hidden. You can't just like one shot dudes from across the map. The only thing that has managed to hit me while I was in vats ever so far was uh, a turret that was already shooting at me. <laughs> of course, it's a turret. That's, yeah, that's that's. Also, it. you better watch out. That guy has four words in his title and a symbol. Ah, I mutated and got his health back. What? Oh, hey, Nick. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Nick. Wait, wait, why is he here? I don't know. Heard we were hanging out, I guess. You heard we were having a party? Um... <laughs> 
Uh, let's just do drugs. No, I'll pass. Look my dick. How about that? Uh, we got him. What? Ah, oh, I thought he was dead. Random crap just does so much damage. <laughs> that's that's the other thing. It's really weird. Like you'll go where you can just eat a million bullets and have no problems, and then some guys' bullets will just be like one caliber larger, so they do octuple damage. It's kind of a thing that bothers me. <laughs> this game is just like, really? Why is the damage so much higher? Well, his bullets are legendary. What? <laughs> what? And there's no real rhyme or reason. Like Kellogg's gun, for example, Each was like. Of those shots were folded one thousand times. Yeah, it was like uh, Kellogg was a really bad example of that, where every bullet he had just did a fifth of my health. Really? Thanks, buddy. Also, yeah, this game definitely does need a better low health indicator. I can agree with that. Whoop! One from here. Jesus. And I don't like that it lets you even go into vats when you don't have enough to use it. Even once. Kind of frustrating. I wish they would just be like, you can't use vats. Okay. <laughs> Because since it is not a number, it is just, you know, a gauge. It's kind of hard to tell if I have it or not. Okay, put notches on the gauge that say how many actions you have charged. Hmm. Boosh. legendary boy a poison leg yeah no uh, mysterious stranger isn't a guaranteed auto kill it's just basically a guaranteed auto kill for like most of the game because it's just ludicrous damage that's how it's always been it's just a baffling amount of oh come on Yeah, it's just a lot of damage. It's good though. I've kind of wandered away from what I'm supposed to be doing, so I'll go back to it. Hmm. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off. 
or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock? What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You're soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Now why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? I like this guy. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Oh, Piper, your face. <laughs> oh, Piper. Everyone's welcome. Good neighbor? Is that what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So long as you remember who's in charge. Yo, I like this guy so far. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Cleo. Don't worry. I only test the weapons on customers I don't like. Feel free to browse. I'll take a look, sure. Murder and mayhem at a discount. Here, I have some gas masks. And a fedora. And, um... This thing. These are just worth so much too. Like, like Smite, is, is Smite, no, Smite already left. Damn, I was gonna ask Smite if he had uh, any idea if it was good for anything. Um, that's not. Hmm. Um... Bing wing me apparently is really good. Um... It seems like enough thing as I'm selling. Um, I only been streaming like an hour and a half today, I think. Right? Yeah, I've only been going like an hour and a half. I haven't gone that long. Oh my god, a sniper rifle. I can finally get an actual sniper rifle. Hmm, and this thing is super good, but it's twenty-four thousand dollars. Fuck. All this shit is so expensive. <laughs> I just want these things, but they're more than I'll ever be able to afford. What the fuck? These are ludicrously expensive. It divides prices by 10 at max. Oh, so if you get the maximum caps collector or something, it just makes prices way better and makes using things better. Okay. 
Well, let me actually look at that perk, because that might be a good one to look at. That's under Charisma, right? Cap Collector. Like, just the final level of that is apparently super good. Ricochet. What are you for the next level of this? Level 13. I can almost get the next level. That's just very vague. Um, ricochet. Level 29 ricochet. Level 50 ricochet. Critical banker could be nice. Better crits. Better crits. Crits do two and a half times as much damage. Uh, level 22 for that one. Eh, a bloody mess. I could get two levels of that. Scrounger. Just a lot of F stuff. Bottle cap. That is probably get cap collector at some point. Minus 90% buy prices, plus 85% sell prices. Oh! Oh, so the cap collector at max with 10 charisma is just ludicrously good. Oh. Yeah, if you have a charisma 10 character, wow, that just makes the game really easy, it seems like. All right, well, either way, let us continue. I need to remove that map marker I placed. Good marker, there we go. Well, Clawblade, that's like the whole point of the one intelligence run. Is to use Idiot Savant. That's the whole reason you do the run. Hey everyone, gather around. Let's get the ring back. Let's keep it back. Now I know you all are doing your own thing, but I don't want any. I've seen a lot of crazy matters. stuff in my life. Hey, Daisy. Right. Glad you can make it. How's my favorite girl doing? Didn't I see you on a date with Morowski the other day? Ah. He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there? All right, to the memory den. A social call. This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. <laughs> Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? 
Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Hmm. <laughs> Science is bullshit. The good part, Doc. We've plugged the braid into <laughs> the Valentine. Assuming he's willing to take on the risks. Hell, why not? Plenty of room in my head anyway. <laughs> You really think this will work, Nick? No idea. But we got a missing kid on the line. That's worth the risk. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? A lot of flashes it's static I, I... Mm -hmm. yeah I can't make sense of it either one second I want to use some oh no where hello trying to find my drugs uh, some water where's the purified water I had sense of any of it doc that's what i was afraid of the mnemonic impressions are encoded it appears the institute has one last failsafe there's a lock on the memories in the internet yeah the game is really quiet it the problem is it's kind of all over the place it's really hard to get it like it's not equal leveled at all um, okay. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Well, time for a rocket lounger. <laughs> exactly, voice of dog. <laughs> I don't do drugs. I am drugs. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. <laughs> they might not be stable. Just hold on. Yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure my character's still high. So this is this is totally fine. This is totally normal. <laughs> appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. This is kind of cool. I'm down for this. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Are there any so comic books? With him. <laughs> Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. People always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. 
But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. Okay. People are always hoping for something better. I usually end up with... I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how uh, the world worked? Okay. I think now she wanted me to kill him. Dad was either drunk or not around. This doesn't seem I guess to be he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but... Okay. There I never really knew what he did. Intact memory Don't know why mom was with him. Sequence. There. The thing about happiness one. is... You only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Focus <gasps> on the petty bullshit. Or this man also has an ugly baby. No, I'm so sorry. It's Your baby is also very ugly. By comparison with what comes after. I'm so sorry. That you really understand. That you also have an ugly child. And your ugly baby is stuck in time. <gasps> oh no. I wish your ugly baby had stayed stuck in time. <laughs> Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have <laughs> <laughs> mm, Harumph. my ugly baby. But we don't know anybody here. And now I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Let's keep looking. Almost certainly I'll lived connect longer. You to the next intact memory. This is this guy's life being a bad guy. But trying, you know, is this supposed to be like that one guy in Breaking Bad, I guess? How did you think this was gonna end, Kel? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us and we wouldn't fuck with you? No, don't look at me. I don't exist. Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of neat. It's a neat concept. I don't know. It's decently executed. It would be more well executed if I, again, had given been given any reason to care about Kellogg. Other than he's the man who stole my son, who I also don't care about. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. Luckily, they were smart enough to not let me go into third person here. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. There's always someone. I wanted someone else well, dead. We seem to be getting closer. Sometimes just next one. roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really exist. Well, we do, as you can see. Got a strange paunch going on on your armor, dude. Been rather disruptive. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you. Snatchers. I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I 
don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. How's now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth? Mm -hmm. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not the eggheads never like taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me, and I made sure they knew it. Vault computers are still working. I gotta check this to see if he had. I didn't let him finish. I wanna see if he knows anything about why they decided they should take me, my son. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> I guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. Whoa! Is it... Whoa! It's me in a pod! What the... Even then... I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft pre-war vault dweller, even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never liked to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me. Of I looked at his eyes. Her. Look at his eyes really closely. They like track I'm really goofy. For sure. <laughs> Still human. Uh, okay. Better this way though. Uh, Better than taking her uh, kid okay. and leaving her alive. Uh. <laughs> Now, the in I found another intact memory. This is whenever you're ready. Yeah. Guess I'll watch and see him steal my baby. Open it. No, yeah, writers use like baby theft as a uh, as motivation because it's a really cheap, easy way to try and force emotional attachment. Except they forget sometimes people are just like, "Man, that's not my baby. That's an ugly baby. I don't care about this child." Yeah, baby, baby theft has an impact if you feel for the baby. If you aren't like regretting, look at this. Look at this ugly baby. One sec. Let's get him out in the light. Eggheads never like taking Look at that thing. Dirty it's horrible. The model is terrible. Eggheads never like <laughs> Eggheads never like taking orders from <laughs> God, that baby's so bad. 
but they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. I can understand why the vague, mysterious scientists want our strange, deformed potato child. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. It raises a lot of questions. I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. <laughs> I love my ugly plastic I son. I don't, Andy. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out different. Oh, look, it's our son. He is, in fact, not a but baby because we were back. frozen for 200 years and we don't know what and time frames were. Temporary. It'll be back to normal business before too long. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Okay, so that's where we're going next, is glowing sea. Wow. That's the big roll thing this. they want me to do. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. I just looked over and someone just had posted, shh, so apparently someone's fucking spoiling and plot shit. So, <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Fucking don't. <laughs> Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. It wasn't my idea to settle. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the Coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Okay, so those are the guys I have to watch out for. To relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. And nobody... Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Oh. So the thing we learned is that they they teleport. Okay. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effect. Slow movements, blah 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 blah. How do you feel? Next time I have to watch someone's life story. I want popcorn. Well, if you're cognizant enough... Uh, I want popcorn! It's the fucking delivery. You want to try that again? Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Um, yeah, Virgil. There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. 
He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield, or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radax, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor. That would be perfect. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking, but as a doctor, I feel... So be sure you find a way to get... By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant. Oh, I didn't know it was ending right with a quick saved. Well, let's see, where was my last quick save? Oh, no thank you. I mean, nice, just skip some shit. So apparently the answer to the glowing sea puzzle, it would seem, is just, um... Just get whatever this dude's on. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. You want to try for round two? Let's go. What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond's... I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. All right, time to fucking go get my power armor and walk to the city. Yeah, that's sarcasm. Yeah, that was a good sarcasm, yeah. Hey, what's sarcasm? I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> like, what? That's not- what? <laughs> that's not even slightly what sarcasm is. Oh, man. Syringer ammo. Oh. Refreshing beverage. Removes all rads and cures all addictions. That seems pretty good, but I need antiseptic. I still have... I don't think I've seen any antiseptic. Is that antiseptic a thing you get from, like, breaking shit down? Yeah, I think those are breakdown things. So I might be able to make them if I go back to my place and build a thing. Because overdrive sounds fucking ridiculous. <laughs> and so does that. Oh man, I want to make jet fuel now. But I think that requires intelligence. I can just build a drug den in my house. Okay. <laughs> That's a sentence. Uh-oh. Phone just started going off. Um. I'm not owned. Oh, no. Um, let's see. Oh, good gravy. Sorry, my phone is just going... Bonkers. We uh, refresh. Some of these messages actually are like good. Uh, it's only ways to don't do it. Don't hang out. Stream. That's what I'm doing. Or we can race. Okay. Smite's got this thing he's cooking up, and I wanted to see if he wanted to go for it today, but um, apparently he's setting it up still and doesn't have it ready. So that's a no. Yeah. Um, I mean, I could go check out. Brotherhood boys. I think that's what we'll do.
What? There was a vault where people had drugs? Okay. Like, I don't see why that's such a big deal. Like, okay. Of all the things to really, like, overreact to, I don't know why that would be the one people would be really upset about. Like, okay. <laughs> people had drugs. Uh, all right. Like, you realize people do drugs in real life, right? Like, it's... <laughs> Just as, uh, just as a heads up. <laughs> oh, it was invented by a character in Fallout 2. Okay, so they just... Claimed... They just did some revisionist history stuff. They had drugs in a vault. Okay. Like, that. that's still not as bad as most of them. Uh, the social experiments they did. Like, that's just whatever. Alright. Let's get the airship... <laughs> Thanks, voice the dog. <laughs> but I have to go take a look at an airship. How far is it from where I am? Wait, what? Why? What? Why is this pointing? Why is it pointing here for investigate the Brotherhood of Steel airship? What is this thing then? The fuck is that pointer? Or is that like there's a power armor there? Oh, I guess that's there's a power armor there. Is that what that means? But my power armor is back here. Is it just another power armor? Just another fucking random power armor? That's not where I put my power armor. Oh, I probably had, I had a second power armor. That's right. I found the one that I just like randomly stepped in for a second. And it didn't have any shit in it. Okay, well, apparently my next thing is going to be a cross-country journey, no matter what the hell I do, so... Yeah, I'll just go ahead and remove marker. Good neighbor. No, the custom marker I made myself. I'm not talking about that one, Nibbler of Worlds. I'm talking about the one on the map. Don't be a shit. <laughs> I'm talking about the one. I know what the fuck a custom marker is. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Do not yell, please. N no. <laughs> <You're stabbed. laughs> Just thought I'd put a reminder in there in chat real quick that hi, I steer this ship. <laughs> uh, so next thing we gotta do is go do find go do find brotherhood of steel I guess I suppose yeah are there some kind of there's hazmat suits There is, I guess the best way to do it for the Glowing Sea would probably just be find the Glowing Sea, have the fast travel ability put up, and then go back, pick up my power armor, and fast travel vis-a-vis -vis my power armor to that place. Oh, right! Rudy Tootie Point and Shooty. Forgot. Still doing that.
play very loud m m music happening, and I don't know for what. That's really low chance. Mutant Hound, Super Mutant. Oh! Hola. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Oh, that's a big dog. Ah, uh, there's people with just missiles. Somewhere. What? So how it goes, uh, dumb Tai Tuesday or idiot dogs adventures through the wastelands? Ah, uh, not too bad. There's <laughs> basically it's the same things I don't like about every Bethesda game are still here, like the parts where it's just kind of like wandering between quests. That I'm I like, I'm okay with that. But there's times where I'm just like, can I just be there? Like I just look at the map and it's a massive expanse that I don't feel like doing. And, uh, the health is really out of hand in this game, as far as, like, enemies taking, like, ten headshots to kill. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm just really unlucky, because people have said, like, oh, well, I had a better gun at this point, because I don't. <laughs> I might just be really, really unlucky and getting no guns or something. I don't know. No, I couldn't really tell you, because... I didn't play much of the Fallout games. Mm -hmm. oh. Taking a million headshots before dying is a video game thing? I mean, not in first person shooters, it's not. That I will not. Not in like. On. N not in a lot of video games where the headshot is usually an instant kill. Yeah, or not in. Uh the other fallouts. Yeah, I was gonna say not even in fucking Fallout 3 or New Vegas was that the like, case. Yeah. And yeah, in the turn-based fallouts, you have head Jesus. and then you have like the more precise target of eyes that is a guaranteed kill, but much harder. The fuck? I like how you just came out of that and there was three grenades around you. Yeah. Yeah, I think I might need to just take a break because Fallout's just kind of frustrating the shit out of me right now. With its good game design. But yeah, people are telling me like, oh, you need to go do stuff. But like, I don't know, I guess I just don't really feel like doing a million side quests that I have no investment for. I think this game not showing you what the rewards for side quest is is still something I really fucking hate and I wish they would n not. Because if you want me to do a quest, maybe tell me why I would want to do the quest. Yeah, you, you think that would almost be something that you would discuss with the person that's asking for your help before you start? You can start? sometimes. They'll be like, oh, I'll give you 50 caps, but then there's other ones where it's, you know, it's just like, <laughs> oh, whatever. Do you have the bloody mess perk? I do. Good. Because I think that's what I just saw on stream. But God, just a fucking 44 to the head. Really, dog just doesn't care. Alright. <laughs> um, I have to continue streaming after this? Eh, maybe. Probably not tonight. Um, maybe. I might just go hang out with Smite and drink an entire bottle of eggnog. I think that's what's gonna happen. Because it snowed, by the way. It's just like, it was like six inches outside, something like that. Well, oh, good. They're, they've resumed selling the Nog where you are, or will you be brewing your own Nog? Uh, no, they've resumed selling Nog. As much as I would like to good. make Nog. The Nogging a, season is upon us. Yeah, it's a huge pain in the ass to make Nog. Um, if you're trying to make See, a batch it, it, that's appropriately sized for person, uh, num person count of one. Oh, cool. See, it is November, so it's officially Christmas. 
Mm -hmm. I guess eggnog is sort of a Thanksgiving thing too. Hmm. Well, I'm dead. What? What the fuck is even happening? <laughs> Let's just quick save here. <laughs> fuck him. I can live through this. I can find a way, baby. What? That guy somehow poked me and then stun locked me via a poke. Yeah, I let myself get surrounded. I was driving home today and somebody had their Christmas what? lights up. Oh, good! Good. I'm glad I quick saved because the game now has loaded itself in a different state than when I quick saved. Wow. Yeah! Eggnog or bird milk. What? Oh, this rules. I love this. This is great. My name's Ty and I love to get owned. I've heard this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just really glad that uh, it loaded differently than it saved. Because that means the quick save is good. Uh. Whoa! Oh, there was a mine. I like people just like, quick save now! Like, no. <laughs> Not gonna quick save all the time. By the way, did I mention this is why I think quick saving is like bad? <laughs> like if you have to yell quick yeah. save now, like maybe that means it's like a Kaizo ROM hack, but not necessarily in the yeah, difficulty way. Yeah, maybe that way, means but... you lock yourself in a dead man situation and you have no escape. Other than log, Enjoy. like saving, lo loading back like a million ago. Yeah. God, I love the grenades in this game. I love them. I thought my health was fine there. Uh, no, Cardinal Direction, it's not you. The, like, radar, the quick glance radar is really lazy in this game. It just gives you direction, which is, in fact, just straight up not enough information. Radar's always been like that, though, right? It, it gives you direction on the side you're already facing. The side you least need extra information about. Yeah, it's always been like that in Bethesda games, yeah. And that's it's always been bad in Bethesda. It's never been a thing people were like, oh boy, I love it. Yeah, like, you know what had a better radar than any of those games? Fucking Halo 1. Halo 2. <laughs> And again, if you're still on the whole idea that Halo was in fact not a good game, um, stop. Because <laughs> they're good. They're quite good. I don't know how anybody could say Halo 1 is not a good game when it literally was the game that legitimized first person shooters for the console. Cool. Uh, because they really like not liking thing that is liked. Because it made casuals exist. Either way, um, yeah, no, the radar's real bad. I really don't know how they're still keeping that. Other than Gamebryo, and they programmed it once, so what do they mean? It made millions and could have probably reinvested into something. Halo is an open world, but it works the same. Like, the radar just is, is there danger in spot around you? Put dot there. That's all it is. It's so simple. Like, it, it's not just Halo that uses it. There's so many games that use that radar. Hell, you could have, like... You just need a radar that's, like... I don't know, 10 yards around you. And just little blips. There you go. Now you know how close people are to you. What direction. There you fucking go. Yeah. Wait, did God Hand have a radar? I don't think God had a radar. <laughs> I 
I'm wasting my rare ass bullets on this. Mm. Yes. Wait, yeah, Ty, maybe you'll be able to answer this one. Did um Metal Gear Solid 5 have a 360 radar? Um, God, no, I can't remember. Alright, let me see a picture of this. I think it specifically, like, tried to keep you from having... Like, it had a radar, it just didn't point out where stuff was, but yeah. Uh, like, there's no radar, but... You can get guys pointed out to you and have awareness of them around you. Like, there's really good huh. marking. I'll be damned. God Hand did have a radar. Here, I have a new solution to this problem. I just found it. Yeah, no, if you just, if you tag people, you have full awareness of them. But also, yeah, that's like a stealth game. That's actually good stealth, so. Either way, I went inside. And they're acting like me going inside is very dramatic. When in fact, just me running like a Nancy. Just running. What? Piper says, well, there's a classic at, at something. What are you talking about, Piper? Piper, is there something good in here I'm not seeing? There can't be a building in here with nothing in it. Right? I don't know, it is Fallout. What? Hey, Piper. Are you hungry? These always keep me going. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Piper. <laughs> Thanks for the sweet roll. <laughs> Just, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Ah, <laughs> uh, what a well-programmed game. <laughs> I love it. Like, that's the kind of thing I can give a pass on, though, for being real. Like, that's the kind of thing that I can be like, okay. Oh, here we if go. If it's goofy, if it's like a goofy glitch, yeah. Mm -hmm. If it makes me laugh, oh. <laughs> it's pretty much, I think. I found out what it's for. I got a advertisement for some kind of racetrack. Nice, and was I quest. I guess. And this one's about gambling, so I'm actually more interested in it than any of the other ones. At least you know what you're going to get out of it. Sadness. Yeah, that's one where it's funny, as long as it's not, like, a constant occurrence. Then it's kind of like, mm, really? You know, that's kind of thing. Um, so where was I looking for? What was that East City Downs? That was the race course I was looking for, right? Museum of Witchcraft? When did I find a marker for the Museum of Witchcraft? I think we know our next destination. It's like, it's like farther than I've gone in the entire game so far, though. All right, so I think next place we need to go is the racetrack, which is the East City Downs. And then...
Piper. Well. <laughs> Sorry, Piper's just having a hell of a time doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Guess we're just gonna try and get our buns out of here. <laughs> Good night, Parable. Kind of to this part again that I have to get through. So let me go ahead and let me quick save here. Up here in a safe spot. The thing is I still like this game. Like I don't want anyone to think like I despise this game or anything. I just am disappointed a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's the kind of thing where it's an interesting game. And it's, it's just got, a shame that it has so many problems. Yeah, it's got so much good, but there's so much weighing it down. It's like, imagine if Witcher 3 was a buggy fucking mess. A lot of times, you'd be like, oh man, Witcher 3 could have been so good. Or if Witcher 3 had turrets all the time, for example. Just an idea. Yeah, I, I think I turned on your stream yesterday for about like 10 minutes and you killed like six turrets in that time. Yup. This, I mean, it hasn't been bad recently, but it is just one of the more like noticeable, like, wh why? Cancel out of that last one because he's moved too far. These guys getting their asses kicked by these bloat flies? Like, what the fuck? No, I'm picking and accepting here. I love Witcher 3. It's hard to finish because there's so much, but it's an incredible game. Incredible game, incredible game. I've been playing it, beautiful environments. Really good looking in general. I mean, it's... It's... Witcher 3 is the first, like, 200 hour open world game that I've looked at and went, huh, maybe I should play that. Yeah, basically. Um, Witcher 3 it's, actually... It's has, actually interesting. It's got a ton of content, and it's good. And there's actually really well-written stories. <laughs> there's stories that are good in it. As opposed to Fallout like, 4. Like, pretty much... I think I was shown the perfect thing to show somebody if they don't care horribly about spoilers. And... To well, I haven't finished yet, so good. don't. Yeah, don't. I haven't finished it yet. <laughs> I, I think you've left. seen. Don't care. Don't don't care. No spoilers. All right. Thank you. <laughs> but I wait now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, it's so hard. Oh, unlock safe. Yes. So apparently, people have noticed that due to the way the slow down works with bats instead. There are many times where instead of um, letting the animation finish, it's in your best interest to tab out of it and then requeue up the actions because it'll pick a really slow animation. That's kind of annoying. That's a good bit of RNG thrown in for no reason. Mm -hmm. All right, high speed bracket trick check. Oh, that's the other problem is sometimes bracket tricks you get tries reset, which don't help if you find something else. Um, there's one. Another. There's one. Uh, where is it? Alright. 
So let's try and do this. What shares a lot of words in positions with other ones? Freeze has one E in the same spot as CD and F in the same place as field. And I think that's it. Zero. Okay, so it can't be CD, can't be field. Could be story, could be clans, couldn't, could be meant. Speak. Couldn't be seen. Could be great, could be being. Uh, can't be lover. Oh, can't be care. Can't be armed. Could be spike. Okay, so it's not like spike or like freeze at all. So it can't start with an S. Sweet. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you can just brute force every single one of them. Yeah, that's one of the big problems is like, I really wish if they made it like, keep track of how many times you had gone in and gone out. And if you got it first try, you got an experience bonus. I think that would be a cool way to do it. Um, and then there'd be incentive to do it. But then for people who didn't want to, they would not have to. Instead, just nobody does it. <laughs> it's not a bad game. It's just no one wants to do it. Uh, and like I don't. Security's too tight. Has there ever been a fun hacking mini game? Like that one's interesting, yeah. But like one that you're actively like, oh, I want to go hack something because that mini game's really fun. Yeah, I've never seen a good hacking mini game. I've seen good hacking games where they're like, you know, puzzle games that you're trying to figure out how to sneak into things and so forth. There, there was a game that came out recently that required you to like do shell scripting in order to hack stuff. And then like, you also had to go into their, uh, like once you hacked into them, you had to go into their temporary files and delete all of your logs. That way they couldn't trace it back to you. Oh, God, what was the name of that game? Hello, citizen. Please present your subway token. Delinquent behavior. Confirm commencing. Is what? It uplink? But it... Wait, what? What? What the fuck? <laughs> what? Yeah, he said to subway enforcement. Do you have a token? I do. I think. Also, oh, oh. <laughs> also, I don't think the game I'm thinking of was Uplink because, like, the game I'm thinking of came out recently. Unless they made a new Uplink. Well, no, because he turned back into being a policeman. I think he just realized he had been tricked into being a subway boy. <laughs> and I was having none of it. Piper, are you here? Or are you just, like, hanging out? Maybe she's stuck in another door. Well, that was interesting. Wait, maybe it was, maybe it was Hacknet. Maybe that's what it was. Anyway. Is there some way for me to get into that vault without being able to hack? Is there a way I can do this or do I have to have the correct perks to have fun? Sometimes you do. I know. Mm. Which is another thing I hate about Bethesda games. Yup. I don't think that was my plan was like to have... Oh. <laughs> correct perks or correct companions. Hmm. 
<laughs> Bring a dog. I like it. Oh! Whoa. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. You alright there? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I mean clipping, there's just a hole there. Yeah, they just decided that was a good thing to put in the environment. And I agree. Oh, can I just fall into the elevator? Oh no, it only opens one of the doors, but not the inner doors. That's boring. I'm just gonna do parkour and walk to the most dangerous, stupid places I can find. Also known as the old Tuesday special. Just walk wherever I probably shouldn't. No. Hey, how's it going? How's this land treating you? Um, well, there were some bad things, and now I just decided, and my partner is stuck indoors permanently. Um, I don't know how to really deal with that. But I'm just walking in a place that's probably going to get me killed by falling through something. And try hoping my game's frame rate will keep up. <laughs> With my gentle running. Platforming in the third dimension. What? What? I think I found the end of my what? journey, and I don't think there's a way down! <laughs> what? Come on! I mean, th there's a way there's down. Shit. It may not be the one that you want. Jump that building. Well, time to quick save, I guess. <laughs> now you're thinking. Yeah, let me let me do this because they couldn't be arsed to put in stairs or something. I totally would have made it. I could have made it. Probably if I had used power armor, I could have made it, maybe. <laughs> Gon just said, well, no. What? If what? you had power armor, you wouldn't even take fall damage. Alright, well, I made it anyway. Power armor's for yeah. scrubs. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> uh, let me open my map. Here's this neighborhood that just looks like it's had some bad weather recently. Right? Yeah. I think there are, like, parts of Birmingham that are more decayed than this place. Maybe they rebuilt it. How close are you to the Witch Museum? Dude, I ended up going the wrong way for a bit when we got lost in that bank. <laughs> no, really, like, I'm not going there. That's a place that I will go later after I've done probably, like, a quest that gets me anywhere fucking near there. It is on the opposite end of the goddamn planet from where we are. Like, it's actually at the edge of map. Like, here is edge <laughs> of map. Here is where it is. I will go to... Bro here is we. Um, but I should be able to go up here and then loop back down. And the other problem, too, is you have no idea where is going to be a random spot that will annihilate you no matter what you do. You'll just get killed over and over. I don't want to imagine a Fallout game on Assassin's Creed. What do you mean? That's what your chat wants. What do you mean a Fallout game with Assassin's Creed? Yes. It would be soft to Fallout, which no, no, because then they'll just you know instead of having one decently made Fallout game, you know every five years you'll have a Fallout game every year that isn't that great and has. 20 tailing missions in it. I'm confused. Is this gonna be safe? Scanning. Scanning. Accessing pre war records. Record found. 108th Infantry Regiment. 2nd Battalion. Ahoy there. Tis Providence, a member of the Congressional Army, is delivered to us in our hour of need. What? Alright. I was in the Army, but what's the Congressional Army? Standing order, sir. Proclamation 3. All members of the U.S. Army are hereby members of the Congressional Army. 
The captain requests your presence on the bridge. At the double quick star. <laughs> oh! Yo, we found a boat. Alright. <laughs> We're just in a giant ass boat. Oh, wow. See, it's set pieces like fuck, this. Well, fuck whatever quest I'm doing. I'm doing boat quest. <laughs> whatever I was doing was lame. Time for boat. Okay, where Where is boat quest? Time to meet the captain, motherfuckers. It's boat time. What? God damn it, I wish there was a local map. <laughs> I'll make you a mod where I draw all the local maps in Cran. That would be so much better, and you know it, because the local maps are so broken in this game. I'll just draw what I see. Do I have to walk like up this? Nope. Thanks, Piper. Uh, apparently, it's a building. You have to find an entrance. Chat, please calm down. Um, like I'm, I'm, I'm walking all over it. Oh, it's the thing that blends in with everything else. But this one is a door and on the ceiling. Fuck you! <laughs> How about that? How about fuck you? That's stupid. Yeah, that looks. <laughs> it's like right. No, that's dumb. That is trash! That is awful game design! Fuck you! That is super dumb! Anyone who defends that, fuck themselves. You know, the problem is, is that it doesn't light up the indicator until you look at it. Yeah! Which is a new thing, I don't know why that's a thing. Okay, I need to go upstairs. Uh, somehow. I can't wait until everything in this base activates and then you have to find them. No, I think this is actually just like a robot village, just a military robot village. Warning. Okay, that kind of owns actually. I'm just loving this 200 year old oak. Mm -hmm. More than that, probably. He's probably a hundred years old beforehand. This must be a misunderstanding. You invited me aboard. <laughs> Real bad for tourism if you kill your invited guests. No records found. Stand down. That's an order. Kill me? Use the accent. <laughs> I, Captain, standing down. Manage to find your fair share of trouble, don't you? What? I suppose so. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just. I hope we can adopt one of these robots what? and send it to our village. <laughs> Sorry, I just keep getting shoved by this fucking robot mid conversation. <laughs> I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently. They don't stop! It's pushing you in. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, buddy, get a kiss. <laughs> Not good. We have found the shoving robot. You got you got something you need, champ. You doing all right?
Let's try it. Let's do it. I any other way. I like having you close. No. Watch each other's backs. So you. What the fuck is this stupid robot doing? <laughs> Nobody's awesome! <laughs> and I'm trying to flirt and getting shoved around! <laughs> that was the best! <laughs> Seriously, don't kill that robot. He's only going to get in your way any further. <laughs> You'll be halfway across the game world, and you'll be, you'll be trying to flirt with Piper, and he'll just lumber in front of you. <laughs> no, not again! God damn it! Like moving in, putting the condom on, and then just boom, here he comes out of nowhere. Hello! <laughs> no! <laughs> Personal space robot had better be a companion. I would bring him everywhere. Uh, I want iron sides. Fuck literally anyone else. I want iron sides. Holy this guy. shit! I just figured that. <laughs> I just figured that since he couldn't kill you, he was just going to make you as uncomfortable as possible. Congressional army. Why are you talking like that? And he succeeded. Get this anime giant robot. Hell yeah! This, these are the models that were. Oh, he's got a hat. That makes it different. <laughs> <laughs> but this so ship is made out of wood. Oh. What is wrong with these robots? Oh, he has a hat. <laughs> I was gonna say, like we saw, we've seen robots like this in previous games, and they were usually yes. not kind of a. We finally found turret friend. He's here. Hello. Mm -hmm. As ordained by the chain of command, the links of which start oh. after all our brothers in arms. Oh. Your lookout told me to come up here. I confess, we need your yeah. you visit this fine <laughs> And at the lowest personal space spot. Long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings and Loan. I spit it. Funny accent. <laughs> what? <laughs> One of the options was funny accent. No, no, no. I'm, re I'm sorry. I'm trying to actually read the <laughs> subtitles. It's kind of hard sometimes. No doubt. Or I should say, I assume it is. I came upon her as she is. The sargasso sea of rubble. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun deck. Really? Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has. Okay. And. Yeah, reward. I help you. I expect part of the payment up front. For your services, you will get your fair share of the prize money at the end of the voyage. The same as the rest of the hmm? Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigate. I will pay you in lack of personal space. Just rubs up against you. I have to man the cannons. I fired the cannons. It said scavengers are here, but I don't see them. Or, or no. Oh. Also, I like that Ironsides would murder the shit out of me if I made the foolish attempt. These robots are dumb. Oh no. No, what are you doing? That's probably bad. Whoa! Uh. Back up, please. Hello? Whoa. 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 Okay. Oh, there we go. I got it. Don't worry. We're good. Oh, they're finally a scavenger. I just was waiting for the bad guys to shoot at. Are they bad guys? I mean, yeah, yeah, they, they just, are. Yeah, no, I'm, they're attacking my fucking robot buddies. The fuck you think, Smite? They just. <laughs> this boat is their land. This my stupid robots. Robot buddies, Smite. <laughs> They're my this is robot a vessel buddies. of the U.S. Navy, and these brigands are trying to accost it. I'll have none of it.
Oh, that's it? Okay. Oh, there's just... Problem is you can't aim at the... Fucking okay, vats at them at least, because they're far away. But I did get Grim Reaper Sprint, so that's nice. Have no friendly. What? It keeps offering you the chance to lock on to all your friend bots up here. Just you know, just in case, just say if you did want to betray him, you could hit him in the back of the head real hard right about now if you want, huh? huh? But you want to spend your credit on that, huh? Now we're just being assholes. Oh, he almost made it too. <laughs> guy's being hunted by three Wait, bots. shit, shit! <laughs> oh, fuck me. I just dropped my rifle on accident. And now I fell and died. <laughs> I accidentally hit <laughs> R instead of T. Because I was trying to go to the perk menu. Because you have to hit... All of four. Right next to drop to go to your perk menu. I'm confused. This didn't sail up here. Oh, now I have to do this whole thing again. Son of a bitch. Alright. Somebody in the chat, please draw art of that. <laughs> I'm exceptionally glad it didn't autosave after I finished. Oh, I was worried after I finished the mission it would have fucking autosaved. Why are you even here? This vessel has more than one. And you're in charge here? As ordained after all of you're I confess, you visit this. How did it get up? A harrowing. I came upon her, which vexes me mm. enough pleasantry. If I help you. For your services, consult with the boat. Yes. Look lively, lads. Scavengers approach. Soldier, man the cannons. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna quick save now. So I don't have to do it again. What? Quick save. No, it just, sorry, it just decided to switch my, um, my vats to a friendly, like, halfway through it, because I clicked, and it clicked over to the other guy who's right on top of him. Just in case. What? What the fuck killed you? No idea. A grenade? It looks like you got shot in the head. I don't know. Eh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Oh, they're throwing grenades back every so often. What? Oh, I accidentally shot one of the robots, I guess. Well. Oops. <laughs> I shot one of the robots on accident. Damn pickle bots.
You know, one of the robots that are running around with all the guys that you're supposed to shoot. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. They're there. all and yeah, since you can't fucking tell because everything is gray and brown. Yeah. See, that's that's immersion. That's realism. It's, you could betray them at any time. One could just walk in front of one of your bullets. That's your fault. Mm -hmm. I like that guy that was just kind of sliding up the slope. Okay, let's open the perk chart. Let's get us a perk. But what perk? Shoot gunner. Another level of four leaf clover. What does that do? Uh, every hit in bats has a chance to give us another pr uh, critical. Huh. Which is a guaranteed hit of, like, more damage. What's the level 10 look perk? The finale one? It's Ricochet. Oh, yeah, and not to mention, by the way, not only can people just walk in front of your bullets, also, your bullets aren't 100% accurate, so your bullet could just be a little off from where you fired it and happen to hit somebody else. And you were actually pointing at the correct person. No. That's just good game design. No. <laughs> Why does your guy say no nah so much? No. 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 I think that's the noise he yeah. makes when he dies or falls and dies, and so, like, if I die and fall, and then it just doesn't despawn that text box for a while. <laughs> you sure you don't want to shoot iron sides? Are you sure about that? I you could shoot the captain. He's right there. 40% odds on his head. <laughs> and then you, you are the captain of the not really functional boat. Well, one second, I have to save so that I don't accidentally drop my rifle and fall off again. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Please move, thank you. Captain Ironsides. If the scavengers keep seeking folly and destruction, I will reluctantly oblige them. Okay, one sec, I'm gonna quick save here so that I can try and turn in the quest. Oh, or is that just like part one? Where's the bosun? Yeah, it seems pretty short for quest. I know, right? I mean, it's probably like you turn this part in and then they give you more part. Law and order has prevailed. Patrolling. Ah, more quest. Uh-huh. No. In, in all fairness, this quest is actually good. It has a good premise, and then... That was fine, it was just that one thing was stupid. Indeed I do. I exclave my metal heart back. Why were you reprogrammed? You would have me speak in our last marine expedition. Alas. We... Can't... The rest of his crew is programmed for more. Oh, were I hail and hearty. How'd you lose your eye? was stolen from me. Really? The scavengers. <laughs> no, really? Huh, okay. The right. ship had a surgeon? Sadly. Look around. Once you have resold. Okay, I have to grab the power cables. Is this really just like the ultimate fetch quest? Just, what? Oh my god, this is the ultimate fucking busy work quest right now. Cool. Warning. Overdue for maintenance. Do you just need to find the stupid thing? Oh, good. Yup. Literally just <laughs> press E.
Hey, Bosun. How? Of course, it's through the constant. However, this is brought to. Why are you ashamed? Bad for morale, sir. There were dark times. But I mean, all manner of bases. But now, I see how. Did New Vegas have a morality system? Yes. Well, it had the. Does this one? I think it had are, are you sure that's the right answer? Leader. Well, yeah. It's, it, did it? Ugh. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> no. Hey, no. I'm sorry. It had no. an annoying thing no. that would randomly cause problems. That's it. It was really bad. This just has allegiance. Factions will like or hate you based on how you do. I don't even think this has that. I think this is just, have you killed people? No? Okay, they're fine with you. <laughs> like, that seems it has like allegiance. Does it? But okay. it doesn't show up to light game, like real light game. All right. Also, I now have like 25 markers for the same quest. Uh, let me go to quest. That's a good sign. No, no. New Vegas had a thing where if you pissed off like the NCR, they would, after like a week, send assassins after you. But you could get it to zero by putting on NCR jerseys. You just dress up as the NCR and then you're, go you're good. Team. Repair or buy a replacement <laughs> power re relay coil. Okay. I do like that they say defending the Constitution, though. That's kind of funny. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I just have a walk through those guys mod? <laughs> just walk through the guys. I swear I have a bunch of power relays probably at my bench or whatever. All right. Well, either way, uh, Smite, are you streaming or we're planning on doing it soon? I'm doing something, but I'm not ready to do that. I'm gonna. I mean, if you don't want to do a race or something, I'm just gonna draw. Layouts. Yeah, I'd be fine for that, and just drink some nog over that. Cause yeah, I'm about done with. I, I got. I need a break from New Vegas, it, or not fucking from four. It goes in and out. And this part's been kind of. Yeah. I haven't but, uh, been playing it too hard. Yep. So that'll be it for, just, uh, for now. Um, yep. If you want to go hang out at Smites if he starts up soon. 30 minutes. All right. Yeah. Go to Smites in 30 minutes if you want an ass kicking. And I'll probably be there too. All right. Later stream.